Winery. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I am fine. And you? Good, good. Thank you. Excellent. Good. Welcome, welcome. What's today's date? What's today's date, people? March uh, 14th. Yes, March 14th. What year? Uh, a world, a day. What year? What year? What year? 2022. 2022. Very good. Okay, so welcome back. Are you one? Okay, give me a second. Okay, uh, two, eight. Okay, let's begin. My name is Francisco Marroquin. Um, I'm 50 years old. I live downtown San Salvador. I'm married. I have five children. And this is what I do from Monday to Friday. I teach different levels, uh, different schedules. And this is basically uh, about me. That's the, the basics. Um, what about you guys? What is your name? Where do you live? Where you work? Let me see this year. I'm gonna put this information in the chat. Name, work, place where you live. And marital status. Okay. So my name is Francisco. I work for Inglés Corporativo. Um, I live downtown San Salvador. I am married and I have five children. Okay. So who's going to be the first volunteer? Me. Go ahead, please. Okay. My name is Alex. I uh -huh. work in RSM company. Um, I live in Santa Ana and I'm single. Good, very good. What do you do in your free time, Alex? Um, I play football. Okay, good, good, nice. What part of Santa Ana are you in? Uh, in the city, in Santa Ana downtown. Good, good, good. I like Santana. It's a nice city. Yes, it's, 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 it's a nice city. Yep. Okay, thank you, Alex. Next volunteer. Volunteer or victim? What do you want? Me. Go ahead, Francisco. Yes. My name is Francisco Godinez. I live in Acajutla City. Uh, I work in the um, 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 administration de agua potable. Okay. Uh, um, are, are, are you married? <laughs> are you married uh, or single? I am single. Good. Forever and ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Francisco. Okay. Next one. Jess, tell me. Okay. Good evening. My Good name evening. is Tell me Guadalupe Gomez Landa Verde. Um, I live in Santa Tecla. Um, where asks, um, Warhouse manager 
in Nova Drugstore and marital status single single woman. Okay, good, very good. Thank you, Delmi. Okay, who is next? Me teacher. Yes, uh, it doesn't matter. Who wants to go first? Uh, Kenya? Okay, hi teacher. My name is Kenya. I am 34 years old. Um, I live in San Salvador. You, you, you sound choppy. I, I work for KPMG. Kenya, can you hear me? No. Yes, yes. You sound choppy. Sorry, I don't understand. Choppy cortado. Se oye cortado. Ah, okay. Maybe. Um, uh -huh. I have problems with my internet in home. Okay, where are you right now? Where are you? Where are you? What part of El Salvador are you in? I am in San Jacinto. Okay. Yes, right. in my home. Okay. But I don't know where I am single, but I have a partner. Okay. The father of my girl, she had two years. She, she has or she is? Yes. She is. She is. Yes, she is. Okay, good. Very good. Thank you, Kenya. Yeah, that is all. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Me too. Okay, who is next? Raise your hand, please. Raise your hand. Juan Ricardo. Hoy. Uh -huh. My name is Juan Ricardo Menedemo de Cabo Vasque. I, I work a cemetery. Which cemetery? Cemetery. What cemetery? What cemetery? What's the name of the cemetery? Cemetery. What's Cabo the Vasque. name? What's the name of the cemetery? Terry, what's the name? It's Terry Terry. Uh, San Salvador. Los Ilustres. Los Ilustres. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Fine, good. And where do you live, Juan? Trabajo eh, No, where trabajo. do you live? Where do you live? What, the, what do you live? Yes, where do you live? I, I live downtown San Salvador. What about you? Uh, I see San Salvador, Pinar Calle, Irasu. Colonia, Costa Rica. Rica. Okay. San Salvador. Okay. All right. Good. Thank All you, right, Juan. Good. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Yes, teacher. Good. Thank you. William Paris. Hello, classroom. Nice to meet you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. My name is William. My name is William uh, but people call me Will. I'm from San Juan of La Libertad. Um, I work as an operator for Galvanizadora Industrial. I have two siblings. Actually, we are a family of four people. It's me, my wife, and two children. And I love watching TV with my family. And I really, really enjoy having lunch with my family on Sunday. Good, very good. Good, family is always first. Very good, thank you, William. Who is next? Who is next? Susan Esmeralda, thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good um, evening. My name is Susana Jimenez. I work at Distribuidora Salvadoreña. I live in Soyapango. I'm married and I have two children. Okay. In my free time, usually I like to read. Okay. 
Do you have boys or girls? Your two children, are they boys or girls? Both. Oh, Both. good, mm -hmm. good, nice. Thank you, Susana. Okay, who is next? Yes, Jose Arnoldo. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi. Uh huh. Acabo de entrar, no sé qué. We are introducing ourselves. Your name, the place where you work, where you live. Uh, my name is Jose Correa. I work at ICE. And I live in Sayapango. Okay, what part of Soya? Uh, near of Unicentro. Okay, good, good. Thank you, Jose. Who is next? People? Who is next? Judy Cuellar. Thank you, Judy. Hi, good evening. Good evening. I am Judy Cuellar. I live in Santa Ana. I have two sons. Uh -huh. Sorry. Yeah. I work. I work in the Suiza Salvadoreña. I am assistant promotion. Finish. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Good. Elsa. Elsa Marino. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Elsa Marino. I work at uh, Albert Einstein University. Um, I live in San Salvador. I am married. Good. Are you a teacher? Yes. Yes. What What subjects do you teach? Um, the computer area, hardware, system. Okay. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Elsa. Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, who's missing? Galaxy J6 de Noemi dice. Noemi, Noemi. You're muted, Noemi. Hola, hola. Yes, I hear you. Oh, thank you. Good evening, uh, teacher and, and friends. My name is Noemi Vasquez. I live in Ciudad Real, Santa Ana. I work in CIAES. In, um, I am very happy to, to participate in this class. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Noemi. Uh, let's see. Uh, Lisette de Paz. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Lisette de Paz. I live in Lourdes. I work. In veterinary, I I married. I I have two children. What ages are your children? Uh, two children. Yes. What ages? How old are they? Uh, boys, um, so. Uh huh. And how old are they? What ages? Oh. Um, just talking. Huh? Cuantos años Exactly. Uh, yes. I song a fifty. Um, uh, boys, uh, twenty-one. Okay, young adult. Yeah. Okay, good. What part of Lourdes are you in? Um, Lourdes, Colón, Centro. Downtown Lourdes. Good, very good. Nice. Thank you, Lisette. Okay. Ruben de Jesus. 
Hello, teacher. Hello. My name is Amis Ruben Campos. I am living in San Miguel City. I, have, I am work in a concept for RL. I am single. Okay, and who lives with you? Excuse me? Who lives with you? With my family. Good, very good, nice. Thank you, Ruben. Helen. Hello, teacher. How are way? you? Very good. Nice. Okay, can you introduce yourself? Excuse me, teacher. Can you introduce yourself? Yes. My name is Helen Dionelli Barraza. I, lay, I live in Sonsonate in World Pharmacy San Roque. Okay, good. Thank you, Helen. Okay, anybody else? Let's see, 12, 14, 13. Yes, I got everybody here. Okay, anybody else? Anybody missing? Okay, now, let me ask you the following question. Why are you in this class? Why are you in this class? Anybody? Volunteer to answer that question. Why are you in this class? Hi, good night. Good evening. Because I want to learn. What, one more time, Kenya. Because I want to learn English. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, Moises. Yes. Can you introduce yourself, please? Uh, same, uh, I, I can learn more English. Okay, can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is, is Moises Alberto Rodriguez Rivera. I live in Cuscantancingo. I work in quality control. Okay, do you have children? Yes, uh, one daughter. One daughter, very good. Welcome to the class, Moises. Thank you. Okay, uh, someone else. Why are you in this class? Por qué está en esta clase? Why are you in this class? Because uh -huh. I love the English. Good, very good, nice. Uh, Alex? I want to improve my skills, um, reading, speaking. Uh, this this is the reason. Okay, very good. Okay, um, when you English is not a subject. English is not a subject. English is a life skill. Right there in the chat. English is a life skill. What's a life skill? Mm -hmm. What's a life skill? Una habilidad de la vida. That's a life skill. English is not a subject. No es una materia. English is not a subject. English is a life skill. Can you mention uh, examples of other life skills? Hello. One is for is driving. Driving. Yes. Yes, Maricela. Good evening, Maricela. Maricela. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Okay. Can you introduce yourself, Maricela? Uh, my name is Maricela del Carmen Velasquez Diasis. I work in corporate. I live in Armenia, Sosonate. 
Um, I am single. Good. Very good. Thank you, Maricela. Okay. So uh, I was asking you why you are in this class. Somebody says, I love English. Uh, someone else said, I want to improve my skills, listening, speaking. Uh, anybody else? You must have a reason. Debe de tener una razón para estar en esta clase usted. Ya tres mm -hmm. personas me lo dijeron. Learning English. Learn English. Good. Now, mm -hmm. why do you want to learn English? Mm, because, um, ¿cómo se dice mejorar? Improve. Uh, improve professional. Okay. Good. Thank you. Ustedes ya, ya se conocían entre ustedes. Mm, algunos sí los conozco. Estuvimos así en el anterior. Okay. Good, good. All right. So, la razón por la que les pregunto por qué están en esta clase, why you are in this class, is to remind you. Remind you. What's the meaning of remind? It's right there in the chat. Okay. Huh? Para recordarnos. Uh -huh. Remind, recordarles. If you are present every day, practicing two hours every day, you will see your progress. You will see your progress. But for this, you need to be, um, you need to be disciplined. You need to be disciplined and practice uh, English as much as possible. Raise your hand if you have Facebook. Raise your hand if you have Facebook. Nadie tiene Facebook aquí. Nobody has Facebook? Okay. Yes, yes, okay. Facebook. Facebook. Now, second question. Facebook. Second question, yes. Second question, is your Facebook English or Spanish? Spanish. English. Spanish. English. Spanish. 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 Aha, uh -huh. good. I heard several people saying Spanish, 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 Spanish. Let me ask you, do you need more Spanish in your life? Yes, teacher. Do you need more Spanish in your life? Yes. Si necesitamos hablar español en la vida, algo así de eso. Ajá. ¿Qué, qué no, es, qué I es? understand Spanish. Ajá. I, 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 I have... eh, en la actualidad no tenemos el español. Estamos en el español, pero nos gusta aprender el inglés para cualquier este cosa en el trabajo que pueda suceder. Exacto. Entonces, y, y la idea es, si usted... If you check your Facebook on a regular basis, si usted revisa su uh, Facebook de una manera regular, expose yourself to the language. Expose yourself to the language. Expóngase al idioma. Um, how do you say ajustes in English? How do you adjustment. Settings or adjustments, yes. Settings is, is more technical. So settings, right? So if you check your Facebook on a regular basis, uh, you will be exposing yourself to uh, English. Another question. Raise your hand if you have a cell phone. I have a cell phone. Now let me ask you. A phone. A phone. A phone. Okay. Uh, is your cell phone English or Spanish? English. Spanish. My cell phone Spanish. is in English. Spanish. Okay. Spanish. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Carlos? I'm fine. Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Can you introduce Thanks. yourself, Carlos? Um. Okay. I'm Carlos Avendaño. Uh, welcome, everybody. <laughs> uh -huh. I can see there are so many new people. Okay. 
Good. Where do you live? You Carlos? are the new teacher. I am your new teacher. Yes, sir. Okay. What's your yeah. name? Sir? Francisco Marroquin. Nice to meet you, Francisco. Nice to meet you too. Where do you live, Carlos? San Salvador. What Mexicanos. part? Oh, Mexicanos. Yes. My first working experience as a teacher was in a school in Mexicanos in 1995. Oh, yeah. 1995. Oh. Colegio Jardín. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I in San Antonio. There. I think so. Yeah, I think it's the, that's the name of the of the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I know okay. my regions in this country, in this town. <laughs> okay, good, good. Welcome yes. to the class. I was born in, in Ayutuxtepeque. Okay. All right, good, good. Well, welcome. Thank you. Okay, so going back, if you have Facebook, put your Facebook in English. If you have a cell phone, put your cell phone in English. Why? 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 Yeah, why? Mm -hmm. Why am I recommending that your Facebook and your cell phone should be in English? My course is um much too easy to learn English in that way? Yes, sir. Let me ask you a riddle. 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 Riddle R significa adivinanza. Riddle. Mm. Let me, let me, let me write the, th the riddle here. Okay, what was the last animal to discover water? Oh, let me see. The last animal to discover water, people. What was the last animal to discover water? Mm -hmm. The dolphin? Not really, similar, similar. Similar. Uh-huh. A wallet? <laughs> Ajá. Uh -huh. Anybody? El último animal en descubrir el agua. ¿Cuál fue? It was fish. Why fish? El delfín. Fish. Fish. Why fish? ¿Por qué el pez fue el último animal en descubrir el agua? Uh -huh. no. I don't know. Because fish, uh, water is their natural habitat. Water is their natural habitat. So entonces el pez dijo, ah, este es el agua. Por su hábitat. Aha. Uh -huh. So English in your life is not only from 8 to 10 p.m. It's 24-7. It's 24 seven. So that's why you need to program your Facebook. You need to program your cell phones to, uh, uh, to English. So you expose yourself a lot. How do you say llamada perdida? Miss call. Good. Como supo ya decir Miss call? Como creen que lo aprendió? The setting phone. Exactly, settings on the phone. Ella tuvo que haberlo visto en alguna, en algún teléfono. Miss call. Entonces, si usted deja su teléfono en español, esa expresión miss call nunca la va a poder ver. Porque siempre va a estar dándole usted más al español, al español, al español, al español. And maybe, al inicio, probablemente sea un poco a... Um, incómodo el, el, el no ubicar el vocabulario, pero así es como se aprende todo. Ok, questions or comments? Questions or comments, people? 
Ok, ahorita vamos con el first activity. Vamos a hacer esto. Five things you need to know about a new word. ¿Qué dice ahí en el último que escribí? Five things you need to know about a new word. Cinco cosas que necesitas saber sobre nuevas palabras. Ajá. Y quizás no nuevas palabras, sino que sobre cualquier palabra. Entonces, lo voy a poner a trabajar en grupos ahorita. Um, y cuando, when we return, we discuss this. Let me see. How many people do I have? I have 18 people. I'm going to make um, six groups. Six groups of three. Six, create. So everybody in the group, todos en el, en el grupo, tienen que participar. Van a quedar dos grupos de dos, pero así vamos a empezar ahorita. So let's go. The five things you need to know about, a, about any word. Let's go. Sería es not million, así se dice, significado. Yes, yes, meaning. Pues nos falta. Oh. Conjugación, pronunciación, meaning. Uh, uh, 
Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. I have problem. You have what? Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Uh, eh, no entendimos mucho. De, de, no, bueno, entendemos que tenemos que como investigar cinco palabras nuevas. No. Los cinco aspectos o las cinco áreas que usted debe de saber de cualquier palabra. Le voy a dar un ejemplo, le voy a dar una pista. Una de ellas es la pronunciación. So, así en grupo tienen que salir con las cinco cosas que deben de saber acerca de cualquier palabra. ¿Me explico? Sí. Ok. Good. Thank you, Peter. Sure. Ok. Okay. Um, Hi, teacher. How are you? I've been very <laughs> good. Any questions? Yes, teacher. Uh, can you um give 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 us uh -huh. uh, some Explication? Sure, explanation. Yes, explanation. you need to discuss the five aspects or the five things you need to know about a word. Mm -hmm. Las cinco cosas que deben de saber acerca de una palabra. Y les voy a dar una pista. Una okay. de ellas es pronunciation. Okay. Entonces, ustedes yes. en grupo, we have need to discuss the, the pronunciation, the uh -huh. writing, the grammar, uh -huh. and the signification, the meaning. And that that's for Okay. The meaning. Va bien, va bien, va bien. But that's it all. <laughs> okay, good. You have okay. five more minutes. Five more minutes. Okay. Okay, teacher. Good. Thank you. Sure. Entonces sería pronunciation, grama, grama sería como la escritura. No. Cuatro hasta el fin. This meeting is being recorded. Pero si tiene problemas para entrar, tiene que pedir ayuda. Sí, ya, sí, sé. ya, ya pedí. Ajá. Tal vez este, como ahorita no tengo internet en la casa, estoy con el teléfono. Y está uh -huh. la señal un poco débil. Tiene que decirle a Luis o a David o a Georgina, son varios. Ah, okay. Sí, son varios. Uh -huh. Gracias. <coughs> bueno, yo creo que nosotros ya terminamos, ¿verdad? Sí, sí ya terminamos.
Let's wait for your classmates. Six. Varios que vienen en camino todavía. Right. Let's wait until everybody returns. All right, so what are the five things you need to know uh, about vocabulary? Uh -huh. Yes, people. Me teacher. Uh huh. Go ahead, please. Uh, the use. How do you pronounce the okay. meaning? How okay. is this writing? Synonymous. Okay. So pronunciation. What else, Elsa? Uh, the the use. How to use it? Very good. What else? How do you pronounce? Okay, pronunciation, right? Pronunciation. The meaning. Okay, meaning, good. How is this writing? Oh, the spelling. Yes, the spelling. Spelling. O okay, what else? In the e, um, uh, synonymous? Not exactly, but you got four out of five. That's good. <laughs> Okay, someone else? Thank you, Elsa. Okay, teacher. Someone else? Someone no, else? Okay. Yes, tell me. The conjugation and antonyms. Okay. Uh, not exactly, but you're getting there. Conjugation. Okay, let me ask you this. ¿Cuántas partes tiene la gramática en inglés? How many parts does grammar have? Fíjese esto. There are eight parts. Hay ocho, hay ocho partes en la gramática en inglés. Ahí. Versión norteamericana. Yes, Moises? Hay eh, through is eh, the time. The time the war. What do you mean? Uh, for for example, the one verse is writing is write a writer. Okay, yeah, the spelling. The spelling. The spelling. Okay. So listen to this pronunciation, how to use it, meaning, spelling, and part of grammar. Esas son los cinco aspectos que usted debe de saber sobre todo vocabulario que entra a su vida. De esas cinco, hay tres que son prioridad. Hay dos que son secundarias. No estoy diciendo que por ser secundarias no son importantes, porque lo son. So, quiero que en pareja me investigue cuál de esas, cuál dos partes de esas cinco son las que vienen en, 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 en secundario. Me explico. So, ahí están las cinco partes que usted debe de saber. Hay tres que son prioridad y hay dos que vienen en segundo lugar. Could you repeat, please, teacher? Sure, sure. Thank you. En el chat están las cinco cosas que usted debe saber acerca del vocabulario. Can you see it? Okay. Can okay. you see it? ¿Pueden verlo todos? Can you see it? Yes, yes. teacher. Ok. De esas cinco, tres son prioridad. Y dos llegan en segundo plano. 
Got it? Ok. ¿Estamos claros qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, Ok, yes. good. Very good. Give me a second. Lo voy a cambiar de pareja. I'm going to change you with someone else. Recreate. Recreate. Give me a second. Six. Room five. And here we go.
How do you say pasar lista in English? Take attendance. Take attendance. Very good. Take attendance. Okay. So in this moment, I will take attendance. When I say your name, you have to say present and you have to activate your camera. Si por alguna razón usted no le gusta tener encendida la cámara, eh, when I take attendance, your camera needs to be activated. So Alex Martinez. Present. Francisco Godínez. Present. Mm -hmm. Delmi Gómez. Present. Good. Kenia Ruiz. Kenia. Kenia Ruiz. Absent. Juan Membreño. Present. Juan Membreño. Sí, dice. Oh, no. Juan Menedemo. Menedemo. Juan Menedemo. Absent. William Perez. Activate your camera, please. William, thank you. Susana Jimenez. Here I am. Thank you. Jose Correa. Present. Thank you. Uh, Judy Cuellar. Present teacher. Thank you. Elsa Merino. Present teacher. Thank you. Noemi Vasquez. I Noemi. am here. Thank you. Okay, can you activate your camera, please? Thank you. Lisette de Paz. Lisette de Paz. Lisette de Paz. Absent. Ruben Campos. Present attention. Thank you. Helen Barraza. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Moises Rodriguez. Here, teacher. Thank you. Marisela Velasquez. Present, teacher. Okay. Did I miss anybody? Me faltó alguien. Me. Okay. Yo no oigo. Oh, Iris. Teacher. Me, teacher. Okay. Iris Caña. Aquí estoy yo también, teacher. A ver, ¿a quién más no mencioné? Yo, Carlos Avendaño. Uh, ah, sí, igual, Carlos Avendaño, aquí está. Thank you. Igual a mí. ¿Quién? Reina Margarita Martínez de Castillo. Ok. Reina Martínez. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Sí. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Yeah. Ricardo Alvarenga. Thank you. Anybody else? Alguien más? No? Okay. So let's. I don't, I... Uh -huh. I don't know because I lost the connection. But Who? I think that I say present. Kenia Ruiz. Yes. Sí, sí, you're present. Okay. So uh, tell me, 
tell me your ideas. Which two parts are secondary? Anybody? Uh huh. Spell. Spelling. Uh huh. Good. And what's the other one? Paragraph. Pronunciation. Mm, pronunciation is really pronunciation. important. Pronunciation yeah. is important. It's important. Yes. Okay, se lo voy a poner así. De esas cinco, ¿cuáles son las dos que usted no ocupa en una everyday conversation? Ah. The part, part of grammar. grammar. Exactly. Part of grammar. Entonces, yo estoy platicando con uno de ustedes y yo no le digo, ah, está ocupando adjetivos. Ah, está ocupando adverbios. No, no sucede. Y qué tan seguido usted deletrea palabras teniendo una conversación. Probablemente en todo el día no, no lo hace. Okay. Except if you're working in a call center. Except if you're working in a call center. Okay, questions or comments? Questions or comments, people? No? So, meaning, pronunciation, how to use it is very important. What is secondary? The power of grammar and the spelling. So, esos dos, el de letrear y la parte de gramática, you hardly ever use them in a, a, in a real life situation. Casi nunca se ocupan esos. Questions or comments? How many parts do we have in grammar? How many parts are there in grammar? Ya volví, teacher. Se me había ido a Okay. How many parts do we have in grammar? Les, les, les dije hace un momento, ¿cuántas partes tiene la gramática? Eight. 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 Very good. Very good. Eight. Yes. How many tenses are there in the English language? How many tenses? Three tenses. ¿Cuántos uh, tiempos gramaticales eight. hay? Simple present, eight. simple past, bla, 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 bla. How many? Eight. Twelve. Twelve. La gramática tiene ocho partes. Los tiempos gramaticales es algo diferente. It's something different. Got it? So, by the time you finish this course, cuando usted termine este curso, la idea es, si usted maneja los 12 tiempos gramaticales, your fluency is going to be much better. Much, much better. A ver, please remind me. ¿Qué les digo ahí? Please remind me. Por favor, recordarme. Ajá. ¿Cuáles tiempos gramaticales han visto ustedes hasta ahorita? Presente simple, presente continuo. Which ones? El presente simple es I had been, ¿verdad? No, ese es presente perfecto. Ajá, people. Y no Maybe three or four. Three or four. Okay. Let, let, okay. Let, let's, let's put. Let's put this information in the chat. Simple present. Present continuous. What else? Past simple. Simple yeah. past. Aha. Uh -huh. Simple past. What else? 
some per, uh, present perfect. Okay. What else? Cuenta pasado, presente y futuro, ¿verdad? Uh, se dividen los 12 tiempos gramaticales, se dividen en Pres. esas tres divisiones, correcto. Ok, simple present, present continuous, simple past, present perfect. What else? What else? ¿Qué otro tiempo gramatical han visto? O, o hasta ahí pasado se Pasado participio. Ok, pasado participio es la forma del verbo. El pasado participio se ocupa en presente perfecto, pasado o sea, perfecto, el... futuro perfecto. Ajá. Los gerunds eh, no, no cuentan esto, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo no? Los gerunds son los, el famoso ING, Ajá. que lo ocupa en el presente continuo. Yes. Anything else, people? Algo más? Yes. Ok, fíjese bien. Voy a hacer grupos de cuatro para que entre las cuatro personas you have simple present, present continuous, simple past, and present perfect. Nos vamos a quedar con esos cuatro tiempos gramaticales. I'm going to make groups of four, grupos de cuatro, para ver qué se acuerdan entre los cuatro eh, sobre estos tiempos gramaticales. Le vuelvo a decir, cuando usted domina los 12 tiempos gramaticales, your fluency and your accuracy, they get much better. Su fluidez y su, y su exactitud mejoran mucho. Give me a second. Breakout rooms, 19.5, I'll make five. Okay. Recreate, recreate. One. Hola, hola. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello. How are you? Give me a second. Move to room six. Teacher. And yes, sir. Eh, quería pedir un favor. Ask me. Yo sé que me tengo que ir a trabajar. Y no sé si puedo pedir permiso. Yeah, go ahead. No problem. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay, I got the rooms ready. Here we go. Dos grupos van a quedar de tres. Let's go. I don't have you. <laughs> what what did you say, Kenya? Oh right, right, right. Give me a second. I don't have group. Okay, uh, I'll assign you to one right now. Okay.
Teacher, que ¿cómo me saldría? No sé cómo salir. Con... Eh, Permiso. Abajo, abajo, eh, para salirse de la sesión o, o sí, 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 de la sesión. Eh, solo le da ahí donde dice salir, leave. end, ajá, correcto. Y leave meeting. Leave meeting, exactly. Ok, thank yes. you. All right, good.
Hello, hello. Hello. Any questions or comments about this activity? Any questions? I guess not. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Any hello, questions? Hello. Any questions about this exercise? Mm, at no? the moment, I think no. Okay, thank you. All right, I'm all ears. Uh, volunteer to explain what the simple present is. Vamos a agarrar esta media hora como repaso. Let's go, yes. Hello, hello. Yes, Kenya. Uh, I'm Noemi. Oh, yes, Noemi. Sí. The simple present is 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 the the is the is the less difficult. For okay. example, I live in San Salvador. Okay. Good. Good. Now, when I say I live in San Salvador, I have five children. I'm married. What? ¿Qué estoy compartiendo ahí? Vive en San Salvador. Okay, but what kind of information is that? That is general information. Simple present tense, 
we use it to talk about general information or general habits. Yo le digo a usted, uh, I go to the park on Saturdays. ¿Qué digo ahí en español? I go to the park on Saturdays. ¿Qué, qué hará el sábado? Yo voy al parque el sábado. Yo voy al parque el sábado. ¿Cuál sábado? El sábado. Todos los sábados. So it's general information. So when you go to a job interview, ya vamos a hablar de las entrevistas de trabajo. Hay una pregunta que siempre le van a hacer. Le van a preguntar, tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. ¿Qué le preguntan ahí? Uh, ¿Cuándo va al parque? Tell Dime me about yourself. Hábleme de usted, correcto. Hable. Dime de ti. Tell me about yourself. So, when you answer that question, you use the simple present tense. Cuando usted responde esa pregunta, usted lo hace ocupando el presente simple. My name is Francisco. I am 50 years old. I am an English teacher. So that's general information. El presente simple lo ocupamos para hablar información en general o hábitos que hacemos todo el tiempo. Questions or comments. Questions or comments, people? No? Okay, what about the simple past? Da producción a no a pip. Quiero ver a tal way. Okay, what, what is the simple past? Tacho present a napa spout. Okay, someone else? ¿Cuándo ocupamos el presente simple? Recuerde bien, we got 12 tenses. Tenemos 12 tiempos gramaticales. Cada tiempo gramatical tiene su estructura y cada tiempo gramatical tiene su función. What is the function of the simple past? The function uh, is the um, algo que ocurrió um, ya, ya pasó, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, very Ayer, good. Antier, el año pasado, pero algo que ya pasó. Very good. Okay. Yes, thank you, Noemi. No, no, Noemi? Yeah, Noemi, huh? We house a that pass participant. Okay. So uh, that is the, the simple pass. We talk uh, the simple pass, like Noemi was saying, to talk about finished activities. Finished yes. activities. Finished activities. Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. For example, I ate pupusas yesterday. Uh -huh. I ate pupusas yesterday. Exactly. Pregúnteme si yo cené. Did you, uh, uh, did you uh, dinner? Did you eat dinner? Eat dinner? Did you eat dinner? Para hacer preguntas, we use did. Okay. To make questions, we use did. ¿Qué le sucede al verbo? ¿Se va a pasado o se queda simple? En simple presente. Exactly. En su forma base. Exacto. Ese, es, ese es el nombre correcto. El nombre en su forma base. Entonces, alguien me preguntó. Did you eat dinner? Did you eat dinner? Ahí me estaba preguntando. ¿Se no usted? It's a question. Ocupo el did. El verbo es eat. Se queda en su forma base. Questions or comments? How do you say no te vi ayer? Anybody? I didn't see you yesterday. I didn't see you yesterday. I didn't see you yesterday. So, como estamos haciendo una negación, ocupo didn't. 
el verbo se queda en su forma base. No fui al parque. I didn't go to the park. No pagué el recibo. I didn't pay bills. Uh, no hablé con mi hermano. I didn't speak with my brother. And so on. Questions or comments? Ok, fíjese bien. How do you say jugar in English? Play. 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 Very good. How do you, what is the past tense of play? Play. Play. Play it. Ok. The past tense of play is played. 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 No, not, not play day. Played. 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 Usted tiene, usted tiene que hacer de caso Played. que la E no existe. Entonces usted dice played. 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 How do you Played. say trabajar in English? Play. Work. 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 What is work. the past work. tense of work? What is the cat's work? Work. 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 Piense bien. Work. 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 How do you say necesitar in English? Need. Need. I need. I need. I need. Need. Right there. What is the past tense of need? Is needed. 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 Fíjese bien. What's the difference between regular and irregular verbs? Either one, either one, I read it. What's the difference between regular and irregular? Uh, regular one, uh, uh, I do. Maybe pronunciation. Okay, right. Um, Permítame, le voy a poner en silencio a todos. Permítame, give me a second. Okay. okay, so listen. The difference between regular and irregular, algunos de ustedes ya lo dijeron, regulars son los que para conjugarlo en tiempo pasado, solamente le pongo una ed. Played, worked, needed. That's, that's, those are regulars. Esos son regulares. What are irregulars? ¿Cuáles son los irregulares? Someone help me, please. Los que cambian completamente hasta su escritura. ¿Siempre? ¿O habrán excepciones? Hay excepciones. Very good. Fíjese bien. Irregulars. What is the past tense of go? When. When. Uh -huh. When. When. The past tense of come? Came. 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 Uh -huh. The past tense of break? Broke. 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 Very Broke. good. Broke. Yes. So come, came, break, broke. Those are irregulars. Right? So, going back to the ED pronunciation. ¿Quién me ayuda a explicar cómo es que suelen tres, tres sonidos de la ED? Uh -huh. ¿Por qué en unas ocasiones suena como T, en otras ocasiones suena como D, y en otras ocasiones suena una sílaba extra? 
Por las últimas consonantes. Ajá. Sí, tiene que ver la terminación del verbo, correcto. Fíjese bien. Put your hand here. Póngase su mano acá. Aquí en su, en su garganta. Y diga play. 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 Do you feel vibration? Siente que vibra? Play. vibration. There is vibration. Hay the vibración. The rich are richer. Ok. So, uh, play. Hay vibración. Oh. Fíjese, ponga atención a esto. Si el verbo tiene vibración, la ED suena como una de solita. How do you say limpiar in English? Clean. 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 Is there a vibration? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Right there. Clean. Right there. Clean. 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 Entonces, fíjese bien. Cuando el verbo termina con vibración, usted debe de pronunciar la ed como una de solita. Cleaned. 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 Entonces, how do you say ayudar in English? Help. 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 Okay. The past tense of help is helped. Help. 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 Entonces, el sonido número dos es totalmente diferente al primero. Si el verbo, si el verbo no tiene vibración, entonces la ED suena como una T. Entonces, usted jamás va a volver a decir helper. Usted jamás sí. va a volver a decir washer. Help. Sino que usted va a decir helped, wash. Help. 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 Watch. Washed. Help. Right. Watch. Help. Watch. Yes. Help. Watch. Yes. Ok. Y sound number three. Fíjense bien. One number three. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, if the termination of the verb is T or D, si la terminación del verbo es una T o una D, usted automáticamente pronuncia la ED como se escribe. Ed. El. Aquí en el, en el último que escribí le puse ID, pero esa I es solamente la representación fonética. La verdadera pronunciación suena como una E. Ed. Needed. Wanted. Investigated. Got it? Got it. Ok. Ok. Yes, vamos. Teacher. Ok. Yeah. Ok. Vamos a... Voy a hacer un exercise. Ya ha pasado lista, teacher. Ya, ya la pasé. Ya, ah, bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, right there. Can you see the chat? 
Can you see the chat? Entonces, vamos a probar si la explicación que les di ahorita les quedó clara. Usted va a poner what is, what is the past tense of wash? Wash. Wash. Is it wash? Watch or is it T D or N? Or oh, wash. Wash. Watch. No, watch. ¿Qué decir otra cosa? Washed. Wash. Wash. Ahí está, mire. The past wash. tense of wash is washed. Wash. Washed. Wash. ¿Por qué razón? Porque la SH no tiene vibración. Y es presente continuo. No, este es pasado no. simple. Ah, pasado simple. So, um, any questions about the exercise? Preguntas acerca de este ejercicio. At the moment, no. no. Ok, go ahead. No. Go ahead. Let's go. Teacher. Yes, sir. Eh, no ha abierto el, el chat. ¿Cuál chat? El chat del grupo. WhatsApp chat? Chat del grupo. The WhatsApp chat. Ajá. Vamos a ver. ¿Por qué? ¿Alguien ha escrito algo? No, por, para que cuando los deje tarea no, no deje ahí algo. <risa> sí, ahí, ahí ya estoy yo en el chat. Pero no me han mandado el link. Ahí les enviaron, uh, en el correo que les enviaron, ahí les mandan el link para que puedan meterse al, al WhatsApp chat. Ah, pa, está bien. Ok. All right, give me Gracias. one second, people. Sure, give thank me one you. second. Thank sure, you. sure, sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make Mike Mike make make a shit for thing. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah, Thank you. 
Ok, no sé si les explicaron que uh, tienen que, uno de ustedes se tiene que estar quedando un par de minutos extra eh, para reforzar. Ok, so, necesito, sí, saber, necesito saber si hay algún voluntario que se, para quedarse este día. Porque yo lo, yo lo puedo hacer por, por medio de la lista, pero preferiría que me vayan diciendo, mire, yo puedo hoy o pues para, para, para poner a, a funcionar eso a partir de ahorita. Usted decida quién, teacher, porque así hacía el otro teacher. Él elegía y después decía por semana le toca a Julano, a Julano. Y ahí sí, así es. Ok, alguien que quiera... ¿Ser voluntario para hoy o, o ocupo la lista? Ocupo la lista, Tich. Ok, vamos a ver. Me quedo yo, teacher. Francisco. Sí. Vaya, perfecto. Francisco Alas. Francisco. Ok. Entonces, vamos a hacer algo. Nos vamos a detener acá. Y yo me voy a quedar a, a aquí con, con Francisco. Ok. Ok. So, so uh, we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Ok, teacher. A, any any so. questions or comments? No question, teacher. No? No question. Okay. No question. I took attendance already. Ya, ya pasé la lista. Hola. Ok. The, eh, the question is because we are, we are, how do you say, acostumbrados. We are used to. You, we are used to have three attendants. Three? One, yes, when, one at eight o'clock. Uh -huh. The second at nine o'clock and the third at 10 o'clock. Oh, okay. I don't know, but I don't know, but is the program. Yeah. Normally oh. that is the schedule. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So let me take, um, tomorrow I will mention your name, your names two times. Mañana empiezo a, a pasar con dos, a, dos veces le voy a pasar lista. Tomorrow. Okay, teacher. So It's thank okay. you very It's much. Good. Have a good night. Okay, okay teacher. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Francisco. Hello, Francisco. Ajá, <laughs> uh -huh. Francisco Nehemías. I am Francisco Jose. Yep. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet <laughs> you too. Uh, what what part of San Salvador are you in? Eh, ¿De qué parte de San Salvador soy? Yeah. No. I, I live in Acajutla, oh, in Sonsonate. Right, 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 right. Good, good. <laughs> okay. Were you present in the previous um, level? Were you part of the previous level? Well, no le entendí. Que si usted era parte del nivel anterior, o si sí. es nuevo. No. Es, eh, ya era, he venido en, en, los, en los periodos, o ¿cómo se le dice? Módulo. Ya, yeah, módulo. Módulo continuo, sí. ¿Y cuánto tiempo esperaron para, para iniciar este módulo que estamos dando inicio hoy? Este módulo, si sí, ahora es eh, quizás unos 20 días. 20 días. En, en el anterior fueron más de un mes. Okay. Todo lo que fue parte de diciembre. Sí, diciembre se cerró temprano. Uh -huh. 
Okay, good. Okay, do you do you have any questions about anything uh, related to language? Alguna pregunta que tenga relacionado al idioma? Eh, sí, que no me no me recuerdo bien del del simple past. Eh, di, me dijo que para hacer, para hacer preguntas se utilizaba el did. Exacto. Y el verbo se queda normal en su forma base. Uh -huh. Ya. Yep. So, y, entonces, y para hacer, eh, digamos que lo que pasó algo. Eh, es, es el, el, usted ocupa it, el, el, el verbo en tiempo pasado. Ya. Yeah. Sería, digamos así como que llovió toda la noche. It rained all night. It rained all night. Tengo It que aprender lo de, la, lo de la pronunciación. Esto yeah. no lo sabía. Sí, ma mañana vamos a, a seguir uh, practicando cómo es que se suena la, la ED. Y la intención es de que cuando usted está hablando en tiempo pasado, suene lo más natural posible. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, it rained last R night. Rain. Rained. 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 Yes. Solo con D. Rain. Exactly. Vamos a hacer de caso que la letra E no existe. Entonces, we say rained. Rain. Yes. Qué bonito, esto no lo sabía. Good. Bueno, y, no lo habían explicado antes. Sí, no, y um, mañana les voy a traer un, una, una imagen de un material para mm -hmm. cada vez que ustedes tengan chance, pues uh, se pongan a repasarlo. Material de apoyo, sí, es bueno. Yo en, en oficina, cuando tengo, cuando tengo chance, que no hay ni, no hay ni clientes, eh, pues lo que, lo que nos mandaban los teachers anteriores, lo ponía a estudiar. Y como tengo un compañero que él está en, es igual en el sexto, pero de intermedio, okay. eh, se llama Vladimir, eh, él me regaña, me habla todo, me habla en inglés. Y ahí he aprendido algo. Por eso good, que empecé, empecé yo a, a ver si ese aprendí inglés. Oh, good, good. Muy bien, muy bien. Lo felicito. Gracias. Good. Está bien. Entonces, eh, vuelvo a repetir. Mañana, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, continuaríamos con, la, con, la, con esto que estamos viendo de la pronunciación de la ED. Mm -hmm. yep. Está bien, entonces. Ok, ¿any other pues, questions, Francisco? No, ya no tengo. Okay, so thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya.